Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to create a wedding flourish in After Effects. And this is something that would be put onto like a presentation of the wedding photos or something like that. It's a cool, almost Disney-like looking flourish that goes across the screen. So here it is inside of my project. I'm going to show you what it looks like. You see this kind of just a stroke line that moves across the screen creating the star particles as it goes. Now, I'm going to show you how to create the stroke and the particles, and it's very easy to do inside of After Effects. So I'm going to create a new composition, and inside of it we'll create a new layer, and this will just create a solid black layer. And on top of it, we're going to create a mask, and we're going to hand draw this. It's not too hard to do. We want this to be kind of curved like that, just kind of up and down, just a like a, like a bell curve. And on top of that we're going to apply the effect for stylize. Nope. Where is it? Stroke. We don't want generate. Yep. So on top of it we're going to apply the effect generate stroke. And you'll notice it automatically selects mask one. And what stroke basically does is it puts a line on the on the layer that follows along the path of a mask that you've created. So we're going, to, we're going to increase the brush size a little bit so we can see that a bit clearer. And you can see that it's, it's followed this bell curve quite nicely. And the nice thing about stroke is that you can animate the start here to follow up, or you can animate the end to come back. And so you can create a lot of different cool looking effects. And what we're going to do is we're going to animate the end to follow the path like that. The first thing though, we're going to select the brush hardness all the way down to zero so that it's, uh, it's a very soft kind of line. And I always like the, uh, a little bit of gold in there, so we're going to color that just a little bit gold, not much, but a little bit. And now to get the more italicized feel, the slanted feel there, we're going to, I'm going to come over to my effects and presets, and I believe this is underneath the distort folder and we're going to type in slant and apply the CC slant on top of this and ramp up that slant amount and you'll notice that it begins to pull it away from that from the uh, original path a little bit and that's alright if we need to we can always move the layer back and again this will take a little bit of playing around with this, the shape of your of your path and the amount of slant and back and forth but this is basically what we're looking for now we're going to create a new solid a new black solid. And this one we're going to go to generate. Back up a little bit. This one we're going to go to simulate particle world. And this is just kind of spitting out sp a spark shower. That's not quite what we're looking for. So let's go down to particles and we're going to move from line to star. And there we go. The color is okay, but it's not quite what I'd like. I prefer to have this, it start as like a white and move to more of a gold color. So, something like that. That's a little bit nicer. There are a little bit too many of them, so let's drop the, the birth rate of the particles down just so that there's, there's only a few popping up. And we can also increase the, the size of them a little bit. There we go. The only thing we have left to do is to animate the producer or the part that's creating the particles to follow that stroke. So real quick, let's come back to the stroke itself and animate that, that start point like we talked about. Or the end point, excuse me. So we'll create a keyframe here and we'll have this complete in about, oh, two seconds or so. Drag that back so we only render what we need to and we'll have that create another keyframe. And so I'm going to move back to the first keyframe key and select, set the end to 0%. So you'll notice that this stroke now, now sort of draws itself out onto the screen like we'd like it to do. So let's come back to that first keyframe. And underneath this black solid that we've got the particles onto, we're going to grab the producer and we're going to put the uh, X and Y keyframes in. We don't really need to animate the, the uh, Z too much. Actually, let's, let's go ahead and put a keyframe in there anyway, just in case. So we're going to grab that, 
And you'll notice that it'll have different axes pop up on the cursor depending on what you're over. But you've right in the middle, it kind of has a white cursor with a black outline. That's what we want to grab. So we'll grab that and we'll drop it back to the beginning. And then as it goes up and hits the top of that curve, we'll move it up to hit the top of the curve. And it comes down and hits the bottom. And so we'll bring that down to hit the bottom. And if we watch this, it basically follows the curve. It doesn't have to be exact because, again, it's creating particles that are kind of going everywhere. So let's take a look at, at what this basically looks like. There you go. There's your, your wedding flourish for photos or whatever. You can adjust the timing just by sliding the keyframes back and forth, adjust the shape of it. Because of the way that this is created, you can change the shape of that stroke just by grabbing the points on the mask and sliding them. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create a wedding flourish using Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.